Recording. Okay. You're recording? Yes. Okay, so when you're changing the string, the first question you'll have is which end to put through. It doesn't matter. Either end is fine. Pick one. You can feed it through either direction, either from the back or the front, but I like to feed it through this way. All right, but you could feed it through the other way. It's just longer to pull. Okay. Now, here's the trick to tying the knot. You want to take this almost like you're tying your shoelace over like that and loop it through like this. That's the basic knot. The trick is to getting it to pull out is to not do that. If you do this, the string will pull out. Little by little, over time, it may take a couple weeks, it will pull out and also it will keep going out of tune. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do, I'm going to show the knot one more time. Over, just like you're tying your shoelace, through the loop. Okay, but this time, get a hold of this part and push it down here. So I'm holding it, show the side, against the bottom end of the bridge right there with my finger. So it's flush against that side. So when I pull the loop, nope, that didn't work. If it's coming through here, it's wrong. You have to push it and retry it. It might take a couple of tries. Hold it here. It's right up against there. Then when you pull it, this, there we go. This piece should be coming through as an X down here. The X should be there and not here. This one will pull out and the other one will not. If you don't get it, re-loosen it up and try it again. Loosen it up, pull this down, push this so it's flush against here. When you pull, pull so the X is right there and tug it and make sure. Yep, so it's going through right there. Down through. As opposed to on the top. That knot will stay for a year. All right, stop it.